Buongiorno guys, it's Max Sinestra. Today is our last day here in Athens and we're gonna make it explosive. Andiamo! Calimera. Hello. For breakfast we came to a very legendary place here in Athens to have souvlaki. Souvlaki for breakfast. This is pork. Then you got tomatoes inside, homemade tomato sauce. That's what makes it so special. Onion, parsley, and fries. Buon appetito. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's all about the tomato sauce. It's a bit sour, sweet. The bread is fresh. The meat is juicy, tender. It didn't add any salt. This is, I think, the best way to start the day. unusual breakfast after the souvlaki take a look this illegal modern style lucumades is uh, fried doubled smothered completely in pistachio cream is this illegal yes i think so this place got really popular i think for the new kind of style that they invented all right let's try it out oh mm. oh 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 Mamma mia. They're super crunchy and oily on the inside and soft. They're completely swimming in pistachio. I have to be honest with you. I thought at the beginning before coming to this place that it was going to be a tourist trap. Oh, but actually the pistachio is super good. The um, lucumades are, are very nice. Actually a good surprise. If you want something different, you better come and check out this place. to a very beautiful restaurant right at the city center of Athens and take a look at what we have. As a starter, we have pastrami with chili and the local cheese. Then we have scrambled eggs with kamurma, sujuk and chili. I think a bit of tomatoes as well. Moving on. Oh, wow, this looks incredible. This is more macro. So with some lemon, a bit of salad, onion, and then meatballs with tomato sauce, a bit of bread, potatoes, eggplant dip, and maybe yogurt. All right, I'm super hungry. I'm literally mouth-watering. Let's start. Let's put this pastrami and cheese. Buon appetito. Mm. Oh, thinly sliced, very nice. Hard cheese, fresh bread, toasted. I love the crunchiness of the chili, actually be spicy. Moving on eggs mamma mia looks really good let's put it on my plate let's go for it buon appetito oh, mm. oh wow this is like uh, nothing else i've had before because it's a bit smoky it has a very um, unique flavor the consistency is very creamy because of the scrambled eggs with tomatoes, fresh ingredients. This is a great bite. And now it's time for meatballs. Oh. Even the potato look nice. Let's put one on top. Oh, voila. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow, very unique, super tender. 
It's a bit of smokiness in it. Maybe come from the eggplant. I love the potatoes, they're crunchy. Mmm. Smoky eggplant deep. This is really good. The tomato sauce is homemade. It's a bit sweet. I'm loving it. <laughs> now it's time for the macro. Smoked macro. So with some lemon, olive oil, oregano on top. Very simple. Buon appetito. Oh, nice. Meaty, be salty, very smoky. Oh, really good. These are simple dishes, simple food. I just love how everything is fresh. And this place is really cool. We just received a couple of desserts. We ordered one baklava with pink walnuts, completely soaked in syrup. It looks super crispy. And then we've been given kindly by the waiter this pink Greek yogurt with sweet carrots and honey. I want to start with baklava. Oh, it's a bit crispy, completely soaked in syrup. <laughs> My God, it's so big. Mm. It's actually full of honey. Pretty sweet, it's not too crispy. It's very interesting. Huh? There is a kind of um, sweet paste along with the uh, nuts. I've had so many in uh, Turkey, they're quite, quite different. All right, moving on. Let's take a little spoon with a bit of everything. Oh, oh. This, in terms of balance, is perfect. You got sweetness, sourness, also in terms of texture, you got creaminess, crunchy carrots, really, really good. And actually, as I was talking to Shirley before, this is probably one of the best meals we've had in Athens so far. Really, really a cool spot. came to a very local neighborhood to have pay nearly this oat shaped pita topped with a bunch of ingredients tomato, cheese, pepper, mushrooms and egg. I've been told this is probably the best in town and it's far from the city center. It's so heavy, it's still warm. All right, buon appetito. Oh, the edge is a bit crunchy. Very doughy, full of ingredients, packed with flavor. What makes a difference is the dough. Hello. All right, let's try this pie. We couldn't leave the city without trying the famous Spanakopita, which is a feta and spinach pie. It's super packed, like it's so heavy. <laughs> and this place has been running for over 100 years. It looks so authentic, old, really, really cool place. All right, I'm hungry. Buon appetito. Oh, mom, mom, mom. Mm. Freshness of the spinach, a touch of um, sourness from the cheese, it's flaky. And it's still warm, super fresh. Oh my god, I love it. While in Athens, you better come here and get this pie because it's absolutely illegal. This shop is also famous for another pie, Kuru. Take a look at this oval shaped, homemade cheese pie. Super fresh, warm. Oh, no. It has the consistency of a pie and a croissant stuffed with mild, warm cheese. It's like a biscuit and croissant combined. It's really, really good. <laughs> Surprisingly, I didn't expect that.
We just got into a money farmer's market where they sell uh, local produce, fruits, veggies, honey, everything. Let's take a look. Mix. Mix. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm buying gifts for my family before going to Italy. So, what's better than uh, local produce here at the market? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we found some money. Oh, my father will love it. Oh, wow. Hello, honey. Uh, yes. How much? Uh, 50, uh, five. Five euros? Yes. I love this local market because everything is freshly made. See, there's no label. It's so, so cool. Thank you so much. Eh? Thank you. Let's keep going. Pomegranate. <laughs> Pomegranate. Bye. Oh, wow, super fresh. How cool is the machine? Huh? Thank you so much. How much? Three euro. Three euro, yes. Oh, all right. Okay. Thank you. Thank huh? you. Thank you. Red juice, turbo juice, yes. bomba juice. Bomba, <laughs> <laughs> bomba juice. Good morning. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. All right, let me try it out in front of them. Caramelites. Oh, it's sweet. Yeah, very sweet. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. It's very good. Thank you so much. All right, let's go. Mm. I did not expect that. Oh. I expected it to be a bit sour. Ah. Oh, nice. Super refreshing, you know. Thank you so much. All right, we stop again at the honey stall because, uh, yeah, it looks incredible. I've been just giving a sample. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. Oh, my God. This is with uh, thyme. This is with thyme. Of course, honey. Really good. You like it, Oh, wow. You know what? I get this. This is cold with water. Thank you, I Bye. So <laughs> oh, nice, I'm loving it. Oh, look at the fish. Look at the octopus, all local fish, fresh. Love this market. And to end our Athens food tour, we went to a village restaurant far from the city center to try some of the most incredible meat. Our meal has arrived with a spicy, cheesy dip. Then, fried zucchini. This is called conto sugi, which is a sweet roasted meat. This is pork, by the way. And then, Cocorezzi, shipping tested. What I want to start with is with the spicy dip. Buon appetito. Mm. Oh, the pepper in there. See, with the dry. Nice, love the bread. Let's get a bit of the Conte Subli. Look, look how charged it is. <laughs> Many slowly roasted right at the entrance. This is a very cool spot, very local. All right, buon appetito. Mama. Mm. Charred, smoky, tender. Oh no, this is amazing. Reminds me of uh, barbecue with my friends. <laughs> it's really good. Let me try a bit of this. Zucchini as well. Mm. Oh, pretty juicy, yeah? Crunchy, 
Oh, no, this is a big portion as well. And then, Cocorezzi. <laughs> Take a look. Meaty, crunchy on the outside. A bit of um, oregano on top. Mm -hmm. A bit bitter. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I think there is liver inside. <laughs> this, this is like liver. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it looks like and tastes like liver. Mm. Okay. Oh yeah, very interesting. Very unique. Very different to the other coconuts that I've tried before. Oh nice. Very good surprise. All right, guys, that's it with our Greek food series. Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comment section down below where you want us to go next. See you next Sunday and ciao!